Here are five habits that will solve 99% of your cycling problems. So if you're looking to cycle faster and recover quicker, and you wanna level up your cycling performance, I'm gonna give you five key habits that you need to adopt today if you wanna start improving your cycling performance. So welcome back to the channel. My name is Neil, a cycling coach and health consultant. If you haven't met me before, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. So if you're looking to improve your cycling performance, these are the five key habits that you need to adopt today in order to improve your cycling ability. So number one is consistency. There's no point going out and being a weekend warrior and expecting to achieve amazing results. You need to be cycling consistently throughout the week and building up the hours on the bike as regularly as possible. If you're limited with time, then try and focus on at least a good solid four hours of cycling per week. And this can be based around a lot of zone two training and a good threshold effort. Talk about this in my video here where you can cycle faster in just four hours a week. But by being consistent in the week, this will help make your ride in the weekends easier and you're gonna see bigger progress within your cycling fitness and ability the more you cycle. The second habit is making sure that you focus on some good strength training throughout the week as well. It's not just about cycling as much as you can, it's about building strength in the right areas to make your body more efficient and economical when it comes to your cycling performance. So getting in the gym and doing at least two weight sessions per week, especially if you're an older and mature athlete, this will help to build more muscle mass this will make you more efficient and make those muscles perform at their best so you can increase your force and velocity that you can produce in your muscle, actually saving you energy when it comes to your performance on your bike. So make sure you incorporate some good compound movements like squats, deadlifts, walking lunges, a lot of core stability, and all these exercises will play a key role in helping to transfer those movement patterns over to cycling to make sure that cycling becomes easier and more efficient for you. The third habit is just making sure you fuel well while riding and also making sure that your nutritional habits are nice and healthy while off the bike. It's important to have a healthy weight, healthy body fat percentage to look after your body, but also the less kilos you're gonna be carrying on the bike, the easier it's gonna be in order to tackle those heels and perform at your best. So while riding, make sure you're consuming at least 60 to 90 grams of carbs per hour in order to fuel efficiently. And when you're off the bike, make sure your diet is full of fruits and vegetables, healthy carbohydrates, good sources of lean protein, and plenty of healthy fats in your diet in order to aid recovery, but also maintain a nice healthy diet in order to provide you with adequate vitamins and minerals to stay healthy and allow your body to perform at its best. The fourth habit is make sure you prioritize recovery. While training is really important in order to make sure you cycle faster and improve your performance, it's no use without adequate recovery. When you recover, this is when your body's gonna adapt and progress from all the hard training that you're putting it under. So making sure you prioritize at least one or two days a week of recovery, and this can just be some active recovery, like some light mobility stretches, some yoga movements, some Pilates, swim or a nice walk just to give your body adequate chance to recover from the hard sessions and the hours of cycling that you put in your body under. Also, make sure you prioritize sleep every night in order to give your body chance to recover well between sessions. Make sure you're getting at least eight to nine hours of sleep every night and really focus on that as your number one priority in order to perform at its best. Because if you're lacking sleep, it's only gonna make your training more challenging and being consistent with your training a lot more of a struggle. And habit number five is make sure you give yourself a good goal and track your progress. It's no point saying, I just wanna get fitter as a cyclist and have no markers to measure how fit you've become. Make sure you're doing some regular FTP tests every six weeks just to adapt and progress your training plan. Because if you're still doing the same amount of training and the intensities that you did eight weeks ago, but you've progressed in that time, you might be holding yourself back because actually you've progressed further, so you need to be working a little bit harder. So periodize your training, build for three weeks and recover for one. Make sure you track your progress in terms of understanding how much FTP you can produce, the weights you're lifting in the gym, and also some mobility as well. So make sure you have a system where you track your progress regularly. Make sure you have a clear goal that's periodized and that you can reach within a realistic time. That way, you have a clear roadmap and clear direction in terms of the route that you need to go down in order to improve your performance and reach your goals 
in the best way possible. And also if you're looking to track your weight and physique, it's important to measure your body composition regularly, maybe take some before and after pictures as well. This will help just give you some markers in terms of how well you're progressing, in terms of your weight loss and give you some feedback in terms of what things you might need to do to progress, what things you're doing well that you can continue with and just give you a good idea that you're following the plan and achieving the results you want to achieve. And a little bonus tip for you as well is make sure you embrace those hills. If you're a really keen cyclist, but you love cycling on the flat and try to avoid as many hills as possible, then all you're doing is avoiding your weaknesses when it comes to cycling. If you wanna be a better cyclist and you want to improve, you have to focus on embracing your weaknesses within the sport. So tackling as many climbs as possible, gearing your training towards more hill sessions to improve your weaknesses will make not only your strengths better, but overall make you a stronger cyclist. So don't be afraid to hit those climbs, take them easy, make sure you pace yourself, but certainly the more you focus on your weaknesses, the better you're gonna be as a cyclist. If you wanna learn how you can conquer heel climbing like a pro, then make sure you check out this video here.